we have a really busy day today, so we are going to see our bikinis. We <laughs> haven't really seen like them at all. No, nah. we sort of give it. We have an idea of like color and like slight design. But yeah, and we give inspiration, yes. but like the actual like yeah. the physical visual we yeah. have not seen. And we tried on a few dresses. Um, Last week, so I'll insert those there. Don't worry, I'm not inserting the ones you chose. some dresses at Studio Mink. They were super amazing there. Yeah, we're really excited. If you can't tell, bikinis is one of our favorite parts of competing. It's like a representation of all of your hard work. Because when you're on stage, that's what you're wearing. Mm. And yeah, you just love to feel good. I just love that you can sort of bring fitness and fashion together. Um, I'm really passionate about like, yeah, designing like cute stuff. So this is one of my favorite parts of competing. So we've been literally holding out. I, I yeah. messaged her last night. I'm like, can you please send me a photo? She's like, no, you'll have to wait. I was like, Ee! and I'm actually really sneaky this time. So she had a really cool concept. I had a really cool concept. We couldn't decide. And I was like, you know what, just do both. So I actually have two bikinis to choose from. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to choose. And Emma's is literally, the colour of Emma's is so amazing! I'm so excited. But we're going to take you to the gym quickly. We need to get in some cardio. Yes, we need we to do. get in some shoulders and core. And um, then we'll be back and we're hitting the road. We've got to drive two hours. Yeah. Dogs, please, calm down. We've got to drive two hours. a bit of a drive. Yeah. So. so, yeah, let's go get it, girls. Hey girls, so I just also wanted to show you one of the pairs of shoes. I've got two, I don't know which ones I'm gonna wear. Um, I love the heel on these, although it's really thin. And I just, yeah, I think these are super cute in general. But tip, always get inserts. You wanna make sure you're really secure in your shoes. So I actually have heel and um, foot inserts, and I find they help heaps when um, not sliding down on your shoe. So I'll show you my other ones when they come.
as you girls can see, we combined cardio and our workout oh. today. We don't always do that, but when you're limited for time, sometimes yeah. you have no choice. I would prefer to do my cardio separate mm. to my workout, but it's just not always the case. I would love to be able to like really break up my sessions and do yeah. like, even like when I'm doing my hit versus my leg session versus just like going for a walk. Mm. Um, mm. It's just nicer to break them up, but you don't always have that choice when it comes to time. Um, we recommend doing your cardio post-workout, but yeah, today was good. I my, my oh, shoulders, shoulders are on fire. Are because we did, less exercises today. I always choose exercises I know are going to really burn out my shoulders and that can change for different people. Um, I love press. I feel like it really isolates my shoulders. Yeah. Um, lateral raises I have a little bit more trouble with. Lateral shoulders. Raises, like, I tend to feel in my trunks. Yes, shoulders are definitely my weakest spot, but we got to work them um, and now we're heading home, have some food and then we'll be on the road, a road oh. trip. <laughs> So Emma and I thought we would show you our little snacks. <laughs> Preparation so is key. Emma's looks delish. She's literally just having rice and chicken. I mean, I'm not very organized. Struggle to do that, but go girl. I'm taking some raspberries. Yes, I still eat fruit on my prep. Love fruit. I'm taking a mandarin. I'm taking a bar, and I'm taking a pre-made meal by Clayton. Thanks, babe. Um, so beans, chicken, and potato. And I'm taking a protein shake also. So when you're out and about, the key is to make sure you're getting your meals in. I do flexible dieting approach, so I follow a set of macros. So I include foods I like, but obviously still aiming for 90% of my foods to be whole foods, but then I'll add in little things like a bar. Let's get going, sis. Driving first, she got the First drive, so it's like one and a half First hours leg. each way. First leg. I want to have a coffee for. And what are you having, the brand new? Oh, honestly, like I. Where is it? It's here. Oh. Get it, girl. Show them. So. It's delicious. It's glow, but it's the mocha. Yeah, and we I usually don't, don't eat glow. No. I eat glow. <laughs> Oh I don't know God. if it's because I'm on prep or because no. this is so good. It tastes chocolatey. so good. Like, it's so good. Yeah. I, was, I wish I had this without the caffeine sometimes to have at night. Yeah. Um, I'm a, like, oh, I'm look obsessed. at Nelly trying to get up on the couch. Oh, oh. oh darling. Go, go, darling. Go. Go. Yeah. That is the baby girl so smart. Back to what we were doing. Um, yeah, and me and Emma usually don't have glow. We usually use the OG, but it's I'm and it's got collagen in it. What is the calories? Because you looked at them, hey. Not what zero. I was expecting there to be not seven like, calories. No, there's 16 calories. 16. But calories. I was expecting there to be fats. Yes. Or carbs. Oh. There's point so zero point nine four grams of carbs yep. per serve. 0.37 grams of fat and there's 1.9 grams of protein. So by the time this um, vlog comes out, this will be live. It's gonna be live on the 19th, the boys said. So guys, we do have a discount code. Of course it's coffee is life if you guys want a discount on this, but Honestly, amazing. Oh my god, look, it looks so freaking yeah, good. Yeah, it's my new Maybe favorite. Maybe I'll have one too. You should. Can you make me one? Let's have one together. Okay, girl. Okay, girls, so last night I asked on my Instagram like prep questions and Emma and I thought we'd answer some of them. We'll answer four that we thought are sort of interesting. So you guys. Bit different. Bit different. So I'm just the huge back up. Yeah, not the same thing. So the first question is, you look great. Thank you, DPWY1977. What do you want to improve on from last show? Emma, do you want to go first? Um, so I didn't, my last show that I competed in was Worlds 2017 in London. London. So I didn't compete last year. And that was basically because in 2017, I did two shows. And by the end of the second show, which was Worlds, I spoke to my coach and I was just like, what is my feedback? What do I need to improve? And he basically said to me that the biggest thing was lean muscle mass and I didn't have enough of it. And for me to sort of get to a point where I could create more of a bikini shape, so more filled out glutes. So not just during my off season, but when you 
are competing and you're getting really lean that I was still holding glutes um, and that my legs were more lean so I had basically had to take a year off to like do all of that and that was hard like I didn't get to compete last year and it's something that I really do love to do um, so this year honestly I really just want to improve on my last physique praying that you all will, of my hard work will. like has paid off that's girl, my life it's paid off girl okay mine would be last year I think I came in a little too small so when I say small I I think I came in how do you describe it maybe like not full enough not full enough um which is hard to describe mm. because you have to be lean but yes. you have to be full. full so I had lost quite a bit of muscle last year coming into starting my prep because I was building bodies by Rachel a lot of work was going into that my consistency and my off season wasn't there so my starting point definitely well, it's funny, every starting point for me has been different. Anyway, it just I didn't have as much muscle. So coming in, I just looked, I guess, too skinny in a way. Um, so this year, I have really put a lot of emphasis into my off season. Um, I put in the work to build a strong foundation. So now I'm hoping I will look fuller and leaner on stage. Core and legs. Um, I want to see improved. Obviously core, shoulders. Definitely for me is always something I'm looking to improve, but it's definitely not as much of an emphasis with my preps. So the work goes into them, but at the end of the day, um, there's always a lot of work that goes into legs, glutes, and core. Mm. <laughs> Same for you. Yeah, core is like my biggest, I think everyone wants a nice core, and mm. with WBFF Lean. bikini, because you have to hold fullness, it's hard because you have to get a really, really lean core but hold fullness in your legs and your glutes. Um, it's a little bit, you know, tricky. What's your driving force in this year's comp then? Comp is a lot of effort and it's a lot of hard work and it's not just you that you kind of like, not put out, but that you put through it. Um, our partners, our family, each other. We really take a lot of time and put a lot of other stuff on the back burner yeah. to really push this. So I think like I just, as corny as it sounds, I do really want to hop on stage, um, you know, knowing I beat that last physique. Yeah. That's honestly my biggest thing is to be able to look back on photos and be like, all of this hard work's paid off. I've smashed the girl from 2017. Um, and also like just, it's just another stage of getting to know your physique, which yeah. I, I really enjoy. Yeah, every prep you learn something new. Yeah. My driving force this year, it's really good to have Emma again, because last year I prepped by myself. So it was really nice to have that support yeah, we're system. Yeah, actually always prep together. Um, when we're feeling down, I feel like we really lift each other up. We really push ourselves to believe in ourselves. And that's such an important part of um, comp prep that doesn't always get spoken of is mindset. You go in and out of like these little negative yeah. times yeah. where you're sort of too harsh on yourself. So we really pull each other out of that, which has been really amazing to have that. So for me, my driving force is Emma and my family. Um, and yeah, just wanting to be better. I think it's such a motivation. It's so motivating wanting to be better and knowing that you are in control of being better. So that's definitely my driving force. Another question that we're gonna answer was, what do you find gets you most lean leading into comp? Do you wanna go? I mean, everyone's gonna say like, be in a calorie deficit to lose weight, yeah. which I get 100%. But my thing is expenditure. So of a normal day, to put things into perspective, my expenditure is so minimal outside of my weight session. Mm -hmm. And for a long time, I haven't even really implemented cardio. I was probably doing maybe one long list walk a week. Yeah. Um, no hit or anything like that. This is before my prep. Yeah. Um, I find that I'm very responsive to expenditure. So yeah. implementing more activity, which can be very hard given, yeah. like our job is very sedentary. Mm -hmm. um, so finding the time, but I definitely think like putting myself in a calorie deficit isn't just going to work. No. I do need to be expending energy as well. For me, as Emma said, because I don't expend much, I don't count steps or anything like that. 
by just including and upping my cardio mm. as well as I have now started to just add in extra little walks etc I feel my body responds really well um, because it's not used to the activity so I definitely think cardio plays a massive role coming into prep yeah. um, and strategically doing cardio yeah. not just flogging yourself from 14 weeks out you know strategically setting cardio goals as the prep increases mm -hmm. um, or gets closer to comp date so definitely cardio definitely consistency with your nutrition mm -hmm. you need to be assessing this every week and there needs to be you know a process in place to assess if you are progressing and what needs to change I call um, it like critical analysis yes because it's a very like you can't you have to be quite critical of yourself but from an honest point of view like yeah. it's a mixture of things I wouldn't say it's just one answer to that question um, do you design all your bikinis where do you get your inspo Emma and I do sort of design them in a way so we'll send sketches and ideas to Vive but Vive swimwear just brings that to life girl so we always have inspirations which when we compete we'll show you our inspiration I think it's cool to see that but Vive is really good at what she does and like we'll go with Vive and we'll be like ah oh, I'd like this 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 with my top and she'll be like yep sounds good but let's like just yeah. shift this a little here yeah. and do that and I'm like damn like that looks damn you're so fun, good at what you do girl <laughs> Uh, I've been with Vive since I've competed, so this is my fifth year designing a bikini with her, which is really exciting. Um, I liked this question actually. It was, um, what's your like, sort of like ritual before you step on stage? Like your, oh, like I'll tell you mine. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna say, you tell me yours. So I'm really funny, because no matter how many times you compete, you still get nervous to a certain mm. degree. But I really hype myself up, I'm really, Yep, you've got this, you've worked hard, you've worked hard, let's do this, let's do this. Like, I hype myself up because as soon as you sort of like acknowledge the fact you're nervous or like allow yourself to realize you're nervous, yeah. it's really not it's not a good thing. You just it all goes it's all down yeah. from So it. just hyping myself I really hype myself up and I just I just tell myself like girl you've worked so yeah. hard, like let's just do this. That's and fine, then, it's just like yeah. enjoy it. Like, and then once you're on stage you're just like do 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 you're only on stage it. for a short so time good. so it's like while you're out there you may as well enjoy it it's what you've worked so hard for yeah. 100% I really really agree I'm trying to see if there's any like sort of mindset ones um, that we could answer a lot of nutrition and training ones which I will answer to you guys um, but I feel like mindset like mindset's hard as well because the last thing you want to do is like hop on and be really negative all the time yeah so People are like, oh, you don't struggle because they, you know, you don't see it. Mm. It's not so much that. Like, everyone has their days, I would say. Um, so I was like, what colour is your bikini going to be? You'll have to wait and see. Um, there was another one, like, what is bikini? Um, so... WFF Bikini is all about marketability, it's about shaping a nice feminine but strong physique. The thing with Bikini WBFF is when you look at everyone on stage, they're all completely different. So I don't think there's one certain thing, I think it's a combination of things. I think the lineup this year is going to be fierce, but at the end of the day you want to compete against the best. Like 100%. If you're going to do it, you want to be up there against the best. So. Yeah, bikini is a combination of um, marketability, obviously they like full glutes, sculpted legs, tight core, and presence, stage presence, how you hold yourself on stage, um, how you hold yourself at events, you know, around the WBFF, etc. They just want, yeah, I think it's a combination of things. But as I said, like every, a lot of girls are completely different, but they all have something unique and special about them. So I think that's really cool. But that's all from us. We're gonna go try on our bikinis guys so it is the next day I've just finished up a photo shoot so I always like to do at least two photo shoots before competing um, you work so hard to get to this point I feel like don't forget to celebrate it and this accounts for everyone and their different goals even if it's a challenge or you know it's an occasion it's your wedding take lots of photos um, you've worked hard so I always make sure I book in two photo shoots before I go away to worlds um, so I did a studio shoot and then I did a beach shoot, which was really fun. I haven't done a beach shoot or an outdoor shoot in years. But I sort of closed out the vlog. Nellie is crying because she wants me to feed her. Surprise, surprise. Thanks all for watching. We'll see you all next week and much love.